Hello and welcome. I am Truck Rudy. Yes, indeed. And today we are going to do a little bit of a different vlog than we uh, usually do or whatever you want to call it, a little different video. So what we're going to do is today we're going to show you on how to live stream to multiple platforms. So stick around right after the intro and we'll get to it. Alright, here we go guys. Let's get this show started. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website and I will leave this website right down in the description box below guys. So that way you guys can go right to this website. And this is the website that you are going to be using to do uh, live streaming to multiple sites ladies and gentlemen. It's a very very nice site and I do use XSplit Spring uh, XSplit Broadcaster uh, to broadcast my live shows. So uh, I will leave a link in the description box as well to download that uh, application and that will allow you to uh, actually record live shows with. And uh, that's what I like. I like this program. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up so that way you guys can see and then we're going to uh, probably close it after a little bit, but I'm going to teach you how to go about this exactly. But uh, yeah, so the way this website works is uh, you can uh, use this custom uh, URL right here and it gives you the stream key. I'm not going to reveal it right now. Well, I mean, although I can reset it uh, and uh, you won't have that key anyways, but uh, the way it, it works is you go ahead, go under broadcast right here under this XSplit broadcaster, and you can go ahead and add a channel, and you can use your uh, custom RTMP, and that will uh, allow you to add what I already have in here. I have just titled it as Truckerudi because I already have created this file. And I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. This is basically what it looks like. This is the URL that you see right in here. Right in here, that's the uh, URL that you are seeing in here. And this is the code that goes in here. Although by the time you watch this video, this code will no longer be good. I will already have reset it. So uh, yeah, so that is basically this XSplit broadcaster is basically streaming to this particular website. Uh, it's not doing it right now because I haven't actually gone live on it But the way it works is and then the best way to start off with this is go on your YouTube go under your uh, uh, video manager or you can go under uh, studio cre uh, Creator studio and that will take you to this page and go under stream now and the best way to go about it is change your title and your thumbnail the ones that you want to have and uh, I also do have a Twitch account for those of you that don't know. Uh, the best way to go about this is go into your Twitch account and go under dashboard. And then you can uh, change your title and stuff like that. This is what people are going to see when you are live streaming. Not only can you do that under uh, face, I mean uh, under YouTube and uh, Twitch, you can actually do live streaming to uh, Facebook as well. And not only that, you can also go to daily motion live streaming all under this one website that I am showing you right here. It says Restream. That's basically the website that I am using to do that with. And that uh, is a very good way to do it because that way you don't have to stream uh, with multiple applications to different sites at the same time because, I mean, let's face it, most of us don't have the computer capa uh, capacity to to run those heavy duty applications like XSplit Broadcaster, you know? And uh, anyways, let's start off with Facebook. Now, unfortunately, I'm in Canada, so I cannot broadcast from my uh, homepage, Facebook homepage. 
I have to do it through my fan page and the way you go about it is like I'm in my fan page right now you go under publish tools publishing tools that's where I have to go into in order to set this up and then you go uh, right here where it says video library you click on video library and then you got this button right here it says a plus live you click on that and it will show you the yeah, URL and the screen uh, stream key and all of that right away too but by the time you watch this I'll already have reset that and it actually clearly states that in here that the stream is only valid for 24 hours anyways and since my videos are seven days behind you ain't gonna see that so then what you go ahead and do click on preview and that will bring up this page right here and then you go ahead and enter your title your tags and stuff like that and be, and it still shows offline and the reason for that is because I haven't broadcasted anything over here yet so that's why but on daily motion I'm not going to show you that on that's a bit more difficult on daily motion on how to go about it but uh, basically uh, this is the way you do it you go to this website it's a free account you just create an account and then you go will be greeted with this page and it says add channel okay so these are all the different platforms that are already in here as you can see this is these are all the uh, websites and platforms that they have already uh, created that you can just click on and you can add your channel that you want to stream to but you can actually also go under custom platforms and that's what we have to do in order to go to Facebook uh, to stream through there but let's say I want to uh, uh, have uh, YouTube as my main streaming uh, site so I go ahead and click on that I just connect with uh, YouTube I have to allow this because I didn't do it manually I am lo I'm allowing this website to to connect to my YouTube page so now you see it's in here see but we're still offline and that's because I haven't gone online with the uh, XSplit broadcaster so let's go ahead and add our twitch account let's just go ahead and connect with that we have to authorize it and allow it to connect with the website to be streamed to it but we want to go ahead and custom enter the uh, RTMP for Facebook because we do not have Facebook in here they do not have that option in here anywhere and the reason being is because Facebook is very new to uh, live streaming life so let's go ahead and do that let's show you guys on how we go about it see this is where it tells us the uh, to enter the RTMP URL and that's basically this stream key right here I just go ahead and copy and paste it right into there and then uh, I go ahead and copy the stream key right here and then we uh, enter that into here where it says key and we just paste it in there go ahead and add it you see there you go now we got that channel in there so once we have done that we just go ahead and hit the uh, update button and it says update was successful so now we will be as soon as we go live that would broadcast our videos to all of the platforms now Facebook is still a little tricky because what we have to do is basically click on here and I have to click on, on this page right here you see now it's streaming live so we're just going to disconnect that right away because I don't want people to see what I'm doing right now but because of that I have to wait till the stream starts coming into this website right here and it will display it right here in this corner once your broadcaster uh, you might X split broadcaster here will uh, stream it. it you will see the same screen in here and then once I do that I have to manually go on here and go live on to YouTube I mean to uh, Facebook in order for Facebook to go live but we're not going to be doing that right now because uh, I already went <laughs> live there for a few seconds so you probably probably will have seen a few people already come on there all right guys I just about forgot to mention this part and that is not only does this website broadcast to multiple platforms it also gives you a chat application so if you go under 
on uh, right here where, where it says my email address if I click on their restream chat now they actually have a uh, website uh, or like a little small application where it will connect with all of your platforms it doesn't really do it with Facebook but uh, some of the other ones like Twitch and YouTube and, uh, and all that it connects with them and then when people leave your comments on there you don't actually have to go between like that's say uh, uh, Twitch to, you know the chat room is right in here right well I don't actually have to go manually and go check to see if I got any comments in there all I have to basically do is, is just make sure that this application is open I'm just opening it right now and then uh, you will see the comments come on come in you know like you see it right here uh, because I'm not live it doesn't display any uh, chat right now but basically that's what it looks like that's a little chat room and uh, you can just have your screen open like this and you can resize this and you can reply to people as you can see right here at the bottom you can actually reply to people and it's a great way to have the chat room open so that way uh, you don't have to switch between platforms to see if people have commented on your video so it's a nice nice little way of, uh, of doing it so I think that's a great website and I would highly recommend it no they're not paying me or they're not promoting anybody or not promoting any websites or anything like that to to show you guys this I just thought I ran across this website here recently and I thought a lot of people probably don't know about this that you can actually do live streams to uh, multiple platforms through this website so I figured you know what why, why not make a little bit of a video on it on how to go about it and how it's done but anyways that's basically on uh, how you go about uh, streaming to uh, multiple platforms at once so uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial I do really enjoy making videos like these on how to do things so if you like these type of videos hit me a like Leave me a comment on there below and we will try and create more uh, videos on uh, how to do stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. We will catch you on the next one. This is Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.